17 years ago, the Scots Army burnt our blessed Priory. The holy relics of our saints, cold signed, shrines, even books, obliterated. school and 200 scholars burned by Scottish hand. Oh! I'm Suzanne fellis aitkin I'm Town and County Councillor for Hexham East and resident. Suzanne, what memories do you have of Hexham Marketplace? Well, uh, memories that go back to the 90s, because I've not lived here that long, so 20 years. Um, so I used to go to University of Newcastle, I'm a partner, he lived in Wetherill, and we used to meet for in the summer holidays, halfway, and this was halfway and we'd meet in the marketplace and we'd decide what to do, go for a walk, go to the cinema. Um, so it, it does have a very special place in my heart. Uh, and obviously then we moved here, which was brilliant, so it kind of evolved. And then I got to sort of meet people um, through our children and it, um, so it became even more special as it were. So, I, you know, whether it's Billy and Mandy on the market stall and lovely Carol who died last year, who I miss and has a lovely seat in the marketplace that I sit on quite regularly and think of her. She was a legend um, and then my most recent memory which is kind of sticks in because it was before everything shut down in lockdown was kind of sort of staggering out of the Beaumont one after one Christmas party in 2019 in my gold sequin dress and dancing barefoot around the, the pant and market cross uh, in the frosty ground and then everything changed that next year uh, but it's so special it's it is it's the beating heart of Hexham and we need to yeah, really appreciate it, and we are today, and the pageantry is fabulous, and yeah, the town council of Dunn is proud. I'm Robert Foster, and I lived in Hexham when I was a boy. Robert, what are your memories of Hexham Marketplace? Well, the, the, the best one I have, or possibly the most interesting, because it betrays how time has elapsed, was when I went through, and it might have been 1954, and there was a, a real hustler, a real stall hustler, and he was selling biros, which must have meant they were interesting. You know, a, a biro, I think this was well before big, you know, when they became ubiquitous and cheap. And his, his pitch was based on holding a fountain pen that was a bit leaky and daring the pe people around his stall, and there was quite a cluster to um, rub it on their sleeves or dare to pick it up if they were a woman and risk in inky fingers. And uh, he, he gathered quite a crowd, and when he persuaded them that the only way forward was for biros, <laughs> uh, a lot of people bought them. 
Do you remember how much you were selling them for? I wish I could. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think they were down to uh, the, the uh, very low price, very competitive price of BIC or the others that are mass produced now. I think the, the, there was a little bit of them still being posh, strange, unique, it, dare I even say a fashion item. Uh, they weren't commonplace. And by the way, fountain pens were horrible. They leaked everywhere. <laughs> Before we had uh, all the supermarkets that are currently in Hexham, and we have, have many now, um, the marketplace would have been a focus for lots of people's shopping week. Well, the, 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 the marketplace on the Tuesday was full, and, and it, it wasn't like it is now where they were selling a novelty food, or it, it was essentials. Underwear. You, you, there, there was a store that just paraded long jumps, <laughs> just hung them up, and people unashamedly bought them. Bloomers, <laughs> unashamedly on parade, and bought unashamedly too. Before many people had cars, presumably the marketplace was um, was car free. Yes, it was car free, and, and so the market, the, the stores could spill quite widely. It wasn't as organised as it is now, and there were a lot of them. I, I'm going to say there were four rows. This is just a child's memory, uh, and you wandered up and down between them, and they were crowded together, and uh, you. The shopping was serious. It was definitely a place where there may have been discounts, but uh, it had a lot of attention. Who are you? I'm Mark Benjamin, um, long term but uh, not original inhabitant of Hexham. Mark, what are your memories of Hexham Marketplace? I think the, the main one that, that sticks when, when I moved up from central London in 1980. Um, um, really enjoyed having a, a real market to, to shop in, uh, but being quite amused, the, uh, I think it was within the months of, of my arrival, uh, the, uh, the first aubergine appeared on uh, the market stall, and uh, nobody was entirely sure what to do with it, uh, including the, the, the staff of the market stall. Did you buy one? Oh, I bought one, yes, and uh, I, I remember hearing another shopper uh, asking the, the, the uh, Storeholders, what what it was and what you did with it. Uh, they they knew what it was, but they weren't entirely sure what to, what to do with it. So I, I chipped in with a couple of suggestions. Hello, I'm Carol, and we're in Hexham Marketplace, and we're with the fruit and veg. And we are going to be here every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as long as we possibly can. Our supplies are pretty good at the moment. We're getting as much as we can, all fresh. Two o'clock this morning, I was at the wholesale market. And we will be here every day till the government stop from coming. And I would love to see you all here. I'd be happy to serve you all. Thank you. Hello, my name's Stephen. We have uh, Shield Green Nurseries. Uh, we're in the marketplace in Hexham. Uh, we'll be trying to stay here as long as we can until we're told we can't. Um, we have a website as well, and we're trying to organise something whereby we can possibly do uh, collection or deliveries later on if things get a little bit worse. So you. How long have you been trading here, Steve? Uh, well, I've been here for over 30 years. My in-laws have been here for 20 years before that. So the mar we've been doing the market for about 50 years. It's a family. It's a family, small family business. Hi, uh, I'm Penny Grennan and I'm a member of the Cherry Pickers. And the Cherry Pickers play on a regular basis in the marketplace on market days. And we just love it because we have such great interaction with people who are listening to us and the acoustics are great. And we know that it makes the market traders uh, day better. And they often ask when we're going to play and it's fun. And we're actually bringing enjoyment to a public space and it's free. Hello, I'm Peter Sampson. I'm the manager for Hexham Farmers Market and we have been using Hexham Marketplace and uh, latterly since the pandemic the area around um, Hexham Abbey for our farmers market um, every second and fourth Saturday of the month. Hexham Marketplace offers us a fantastic spot in the heart of historic Hexham which helps us attract both local people and visitors to Hexham. 
um, we feel connected to um, those 800 years of um, running markets in Hexham because what we do is not that um, dissimilar to what the people did 400, 700, 800 years ago. We help provide the local community with essentials like vegetables and bread and meat and some luxury items and all of that stuff and we hope that that continues for many more years. I'm Claire Horijan of Coxon's Coffee here in the marketplace. I've um, been here for about six months now. It's been really well. It's gone really well. Um, it's been a great way to get established and I'm looking to move into a premises soon. It's Tuesday night in Hexham Town. They're cleaning up the marketplace. It's a dirty job. But it's no disgrace to scare makers and scavengers. Swilling blood from the butcher's stall, finding cabbages and collies that went unsold. And Jesus, only six weeks old, that smell good. The scavengers There's Bridget Chicken John Wilson's wife Marjorie Hubbock with her job For life Mary Smith Mary Dodd Mary Hall Mary Yarrow Shuffling in the dirt Pushing the barrel Scalewakers and scavengers of Hexham Town And William Wilson's widow If it was thrown away, then they'll use it again Scrapping for fathers and a bit of a fight Buy it back in the grapes tonight from scale makers and scavengers. There's Bridget Chicken, John Wilson's wife, Marjorie Hubbock with her job for life. Mary Smith, Mary Dodd, Mary Hall. Mary Arrow shoveling the dirt and pushing the barrel. Scale makers and scavengers of Hexham Town. And William Wilson's widow. The council's cleaning up the marketplace they're going to tender also at home rich get the pickings and it's out of the cold for the scale makers and scavengers they're the dirty poor dealing with the dirt of the town Chicken, John Wilson's wife, Marjorie Hubbock had a job for life. Mary Smith, Mary Dodd, Mary Hall, Mary Arrow, shoveling the dirt and pushing the barrel. Scarecrows and scavengers. And William Wilson's widow Cast me down, cast me down
cast me down, cast me down, cast me down, cast me down, cast me down.